Hey everybody, um, so this video I wanted to do for a while now. So I wanted to give you an idea of how <clears throat> I set up my listings as well as how I track my um, auctions and how I'm doing and all that. So I'm going to go through this pretty quick. I'm going to get in more detail in other videos, but just give you a high level of overview of what the sheet looks like, how I get it, and then um, go let you guys know how I list items and how I decide between buy it now versus uh, auctions. So I'll start with my spreadsheet. If you guys have bought off liquidation.com, you know you get a transaction ID. Every time you pay for an item or an auction, you'll get an email saying thank you for your, your payment and uh, it'll have this respective billing ID. Well, what happens is you also get the manifest. The manifest is based on what you get off the auction. So if I go to the top here, this is my item by item spreadsheet for the respective auction. So let's say I bid on this auction, I want it 5702065. So I will open the manifest, I will copy and paste it into here. Column B through F is the uh, direct copy off the manifest and I paste it in here. This is the retail value that they say um, based on the quantity and this is the total. Then I have a summary for each auction I bought. This is the first one. Retail value, buy amount, and this is important, the listed amount. This is how much I've listed on eBay for. Number of items it has, the fees that come off for eBay, and fees for PayPal. Then, after I sell it, this is the number of items I've sold. Shipping costs, this is what PayPal is gonna pay me, and this is what my total take home is. So for this item, and this auction, I was up, or I am up, $206, and I bought it in July. So this is my very first auction I bought. Um, and these are the respective items. So this is basically, if you're familiar with Excel, this is a VLOOKUP based on wherever there's X. I'm summing these columns. So whenever I sell items, I'll go in here, place an X, and I'll fill out the columns. Now, what's important is, when I start listing items, I put in my eBay list price. This eBay list price is what I listed for in eBay, and this kind of gives me an idea and say, if I were to sell everything I listed, this is how much I'd get back. This is how much I paid for it. So based on the difference, I would make 600 bucks in revenue, not taking out fees, so I'd be ahead 300 bucks. So this is a good idea of, this lets me know how many items I need to list um, and where I'm at. So if this number is below this number, this means A, my box wasn't good, or uh, B, I didn't list enough. So this is kind of my own personal gauge of uh, how I'm performing in terms of putting up listings. So that's where I use that. And then as I sell stuff, and this is kind of skewed because I have some bulk revenue coming in from garage sales, but this is what I've sold on eBay, dates and all that. So this is how I track my sheet. High level, that's what I do. So based on the manifest, I wanted to take you into how I list stuff. So for example, on this auction, let's take the highest price items. You have Xbox One Elite wireless controller, Jaybird headphones, some uh, guitar noise reduction pedal, more headphones, some other uh, violin pickup, whatever that is, headphones and all that. So what I do is, if it's a high priced item like this, 149, and this is what I do when I start uh, looking at auctions on liquidation. I will copy off the manifest and I will go into eBay Keep in mind, this is a test username. I will just paste it and I'll search it. So based on this, as I scroll through it, and sorry again, I need to download some programs for screen sharing. If you guys could share with me what you guys use, hopefully my videos will turn out better, but Xbox One Elite Controller. And keep in mind, 
the the uh, serial numbers are going to be different. So make sure you list the right item. I've sold something with the wrong uh, model number on it, and they didn't like that. So make sure your model number matches. So for example, I'm looking at all these, you know, 80, 124, 104. Looking back on my manifest, liquidation said it's worth 150. Well, based on eBay, I'm probably not going to get 150, and I'm. And what you can do is there's a button over here called sold listings. If I click on that, it's going to tell me what this controller has sold for. Um, so I'm looking at it. Controllers only. You're getting anywhere from 91 to 100 bucks. So based on the fluctuation in price and it being a high priced item, these high priced items I will list as auctions, and I might start this auction at 79 dollars. So I know based on what I purchased this auction a uh, slot for, I purchased it for $338. If I sold it for 90 or 100 bucks, I'm a third of the uh, third of the way there. So and that's fine with me. As long as I can get close based on the top code of auctions, I will list the higher priced items as auctions. Everything below here, all these items, I'll do buy it now. Um it's kind of buy it now helps get rid of stuff really fast and you kind of can expect and you kind of can know based on the listings what you'll get so for example if I look up this uh, I don't know let me pick something here and I'm getting the $20 items $20 items probably only gonna get 10 bucks but for the sake of the example uh, <coughs> let's take This cable matters multi-angle tablet and actually I didn't sell this so I go in here up to the top oops and paste it so I mean these are sold I mean don't minus that one this sold for six bucks six bucks six dollars six fifty so this would be buy it now an auction is not worth it no one's gonna bid, bid out each other on this item so I probably list this item at 499 free shipping um, that's kind of how I determine auction or not if if people are gonna bid outbid each other that's where an auction comes into play the last thing I kind of want to say is I tend to list items really fast so listing I'll copy it I'll go into here paste it pull it up and I'll find the item that close let's take the sold off so if I look in here and I take these items I know my item had a cord a case and all that I will click I'll go into the auction and this is where this is a big time saver you hit sell now have one to sell hit sell now what happens is everything based on this auction uh, it doesn't like this but because I picked a different use today but what happens is it pre-populates everything with the title, um, shipping, returns, and all that. So if you hit sell one now, basically all you're doing is adding the price, the description, and double checking that everything's the same and you list it. So what I do is I hit sell one now, I put in the price, I put in the description, and then I'll hit save this listing within the computer. I will then pull this auction up on my phone, I'll take a picture, and then I'll hit list it. That is the quickest way that I know how to do it. If anyone else knows a quicker way, let me know. But this sell one now is key. So you're not filling in everything in the auction. But just want to give you a quick update on how I list things. But more videos to follow in terms of listing and how I go through the manifest. It's very important, at least for me, to save the manifest off the website. The manifest helps me. And I'm, something's going on. But... The manifest helps me understand how I'm doing and what I need to list for. So this is kind of an overview of my auctions total and then my items. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Again, follow me, uh, Liquidation OH on all social media platforms. I post pictures, videos. Uh, I would like to have some giveaways. Um, so just follow me, comment, subscribe. And I look forward to hearing from you guys. Appreciate it.